Today is June 22, so I'm actually very late to introduce rhubarb, Reum rhabarbarum, as a seasonal vegetable in Germany. Just like asparagus, the traditional harvest time ends on June 24, St. John's Day. The other way around, of course, rhubarb is currently on everyone's lips. Abracadabra! Eine Bar und nannte sie Barbaras Rhabarbaba. But what was it like in the past? The name rhubarb, or rhabarba, goes back to the Latin term ra, which probably refers to the Scythian name for the Volga River, where it was thought to have originated. Accordingly, barbarum stands for foreign, so the rhubarb barbarians, the rhabarba barbaren, are actually not far-fetched. The rhubarb actually comes from the Himalayas and was cultivated in China 1800 years ago. In the Middle Ages, around the 11th century, it came to Europe via Arabic medicine. At that time, however, the underground shots were used as a medicine. It was cultivated in Russia in the 16th century and then returned to Europe in the 18th century. It was cultivated in France, the Netherlands and England whereby a very special type of cultivation was developed in Yorkshire. In darkness and heated halls, the Yorkshires forced rhubarb. As a result, the leaf stalks have a sweeter taste than normal rhubarb. The first commercial cultivation in Germany took place in Hamburg Kirchwerder in 1848. From there, cultivation spread southwards. The areas under cultivation and harvest volumes in Germany vary greatly. The largest exporter in the world is Mexico, while the largest importer is the USA. Interestingly, rhubarb is considered a fruit and not a vegetable in the USA. It is best grown on humus-rich, medium-heavy, nutrient-rich soil in partial shade. The large leaves need plenty of water, but not waterlogging. The plant is propagated by dividing the rhizomes. The plant can survive in this location for a good 10 years. It therefore needs space. To harvest, break off major stems from the plant and later cut off the leaves. If you have rabbits, they love the leaves. Rhubarb contains a lot of water, around 95%, and many acids such as malic and citric acid. It has quite a lot of vitamin C, a little A and B, but also trace elements such as potassium, calcium, phosphorus and magnesium. Rhubarb can be used in many ways in the kitchen. The easiest way is to peel it lengthwise and then simply eat it raw with sugar. The peel is so fibrous that it is generally ineditable. However, you can boil them with water, sugar and lemon juice to make a rhubarb syrup. This can then be diluted with mineral water to make a rhubarb spritzer or if you prefer you can also use sparkling wine. You can also use it to make compotti. Cut the peeled stalks of one kilogram of rhubarb into small pieces, squeeze a lemon and simmer with 200 milliliters of water, a packet of vanilla sugar and 200 gram of sugar in a pan over a medium heat and stir until the rhubarb disintegrates. Then leave it to infuse for another minute. If you roast the chopped rhubarb in a pan, it is sometimes used in summer salads. Or how about a rhubarb pie?
There are countless recipes. Just see what you like. What is your favorite way to eat rhubarb? I think I will enjoy the fresh rhubarb pie with coffee and cake. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.